Hello everybody, my name is Evro, and today I have a new mod from Minecraft Education Edition to show you all. This is the Morph Mod. It allows you to morph into any mod that you want that's in the game. And this is something that I've been working on for quite a few weeks now, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And so yeah, today I'm going to show you how to both get this in your world and how to use it. So first, importing it. What you'll want to do is, if you go down into the description, there is a GitHub link, which will take you to a page that has code that looks something like what you see right here. What you're gonna wanna do is select all of it using your cursor. Of course, this isn't actually what the GitHub page looks like. This is just the code that's on there. You're gonna wanna select all of this, do Control C to copy, then create a new project um, and paste it in here. The next thing that you'll need for installing this is you'll need a repeating command block with this command right here. I'll leave the command down in the description. Basically, this all this does is it teleports the morphed mob to you at all times. Then all you gotta do is click run and then you're ready to go. And that's how you install all the other agent mods like the world edit and the gravestones and all the other stuff that I've made. So let's move on to how to use the mod. Once you have it all installed, all you need to do is just run it right with the button down there. And then you just go backslash morph and then the number of the mob that you want to morph into. So for example, if I want to morph into a chicken, I'll do 10. Um, and now I am a chicken. And it follows wherever I look and all that. You can't hurt it or else that would be like overpowered, easy way of inv invisibility. Um, walking around is a bit glitchy. However, there is no fix that I have found to fix this. I'm pretty sure it's just client side because the server side is just updating all the time. So if you're doing this on multiplayer, it should look fine on the other person's end. So if you want to unmorph, then well, you do backslash unmorph. And then it does the particles, kills the chicken, and turns you back into yourself. So you're probably wondering, since it's not putting in the name of the mob, and I have tried making it so that you can put in the name of the mob, but since uh, chat input commands can't accept text as parameters, um, then, well, basically that means you can't use any text to, for something to morph into. So I use the next best alternative, which is mob IDs. In the wiki down in the description, there is a section on all of the mob IDs for every mob in the game of Minecraft Education Edition. It's really useful and I highly, like you pretty much can't use this mod without that. So yeah, make sure go check that out in the description if you plan on using this. I'll just demonstrate a few of the mobs here. Uh, so we already covered that backslash morph 10 is a, well, a chicken. Uh, but if we morph into uh, 11, that turns us into a cow. Uh, 12 turns us into a pig. And 13 is a sheep. I haven't memorized all of the... And again, using this, like, for example, another thing that I do is morph 20. That turns you into an iron golem. And the iron golem... I, I'd also suggest doing this in F5 mode, because, well, yeah. Um, the iron golem also automatically hits any, like, zombies or slimes that come in its path. So, like, I'm not doing anything. My hand is not on the keyboard at all. So, yeah, that's an iron golems. And I believe if you morph into 21, then that gets you a snow golem. Snow golems actually don't do any damage. Uh, but they still shoot snowballs at stuff. Then this will automatically shoot snowballs at it. Which I think is pretty cool. Like, again, I can clap my hands, which means that I'm not doing anything. So yeah, that's just about pretty much all there is to show. Again, a summary, you just go down into the description and uh, get the code, paste it into a new project, put down this command block with the uh, command that's in the description, uh, get yourself um, a page pulled up with all the mob IDs, and have fun, troll your friends, 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short little mod showcase video. Um, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Um, I'm going to be releasing more mods soon, so stay tuned for that. You can also subscribe with notifications so that you won't miss those videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.